This video is about what to do if you've seen a UFO. It's going to be short, simple, a few summary steps so that you can get on to the business of properly documenting what you remember, what you've recorded for that experience. But before we start, I want to know, are you okay? If you're feeling sick, if you're in emotional distress, if you think you've been injured, pause the video right now, go take care of that, and then come back and we'll talk about what to do after that. Okay, I'm glad you're all right. Now, let's talk about a few simple steps. Number one, other witnesses. Were there other witnesses? If so, if you can establish contact with them, please do so. But do not compare notes just yet. You can do that later. But for now, step number two is you go off by yourself and you sketch everything you can remember seeing, all the details, and you write down all the details you can remember that don't easily fit on a sketch. The best thing to do is just make a sketch and write down on the sketch what you remember, or even flip it over and write down more there. On the sketch, I don't want to contaminate your memory, so I won't suggest what to put on the sketch except everything you saw. Now, the next step is to secure any other evidence. If you have videos, if you have photos, and they're on an SD card from your camera, or if you have a, a cell phone with an SD card, take the SD card out. and put it in a safe place with a piece of paper that explains exactly what it is, the date, your name, any other information you need to put on there. And if there are any, and if there are any witnesses to this process, have them sign that and put their names on as well and dates. The chain of custody for these things is really important. We haven't got evidence if we don't know where it came from. We don't want your videos or your photos to touch any software. We just like, if at all possible, we'd like the, the media right out of the camera. If we can't do that, give us a file copied right out of the camera. Now, after you've done that, you can do whatever you like with those files, as long as we have a pristine file from the camera. Now, any other physical evidence, that's rare. But if you have it, we'll talk about that in another video. Essentially, you want to protect it and document it as best you can. Final step is go to reportaufo.org and file your report. It's a simple form. We'll talk about the details of the form in the next video. But for now, I don't think you'll need a lot of explanation. Just go to the site, reportaufo.org, and fill it in. Please encourage other witnesses to do the same. So, to sum up, contact other witnesses, encourage them to file a report, but don't compare notes. Two, make your notes and your sketches. Everything you can remember, write it down. Three, secure any physical evidence, particularly photos and videos, which should be pristine, straight out of the camera, untouched. Finally, let us know what happened report at ufo.org. Your report will be completely anonymous. We will not share your name and contact information with the public ever. And we will protect your privacy. We will not report anything that might give away your identity or where you live or anything like that. So it's your, you can file that report in confidence. So we'll see you on the other side of that report. And I'll let you know exactly what happens with the report, how it's handled, and what the next steps are. So see you then.